A year ago, we reported on the demolition of the Santa Fe Railroad Depot in Snyder. Built in 1911, it was demolished in 2017. The Scurry County Historical Commission put up a fight to save it, couldn't, but ever since has been working to find a way to showcase the history of the depot. KTAB's Kathleen Barkley has this Eye on the Big Country report. The Santa Fe Depot was built by Lewis Curtis and played a significant role in railroad history. He designed four for the Santa Fe Railroad. One was in Sweetwater, Snyder, Post, and Lubbock. The history and heritage of railroad traffic through Snyder and uh, connecting us with the rest of the state and the nation during that westward movement. Paula Hatfield was one of many people who worked long and hard to keep the Santa Fe Depot in Snyder standing. Unfortunately, we were not able to do that. Today, unfortunately, only the one in post remains standing. After the demolition, the Scurry County Historical Commission got to work to do what they do best, preservation. Almost immediately after it was torn down, we started thinking of ways that we could continue to tell the story and the importance of the depot. And so we came up with the idea of doing a, a short documentary or a short film. Built to Last showcases not only the depot, but how important building preservation is. In the height of his building and constructing and designing of buildings, there were over 200 in the United States. Today we only have 30. When we lost this key building here in our own community, we affected the whole nation because there's just not that many buildings of his left. So In Snyder, with coverage you can count on Kathleen Barkley, KTAB News. All right, thank you, Kathleen. Built to Last premieres next Tuesday evening at 6.30 in Snyder at the Ritz Theater, and then they'll have a gallery viewing at the 1818 Warehouse. Both free, open to the public next Tuesday. A lot of local history there, yes, that's sir. for sure. Let's